Baked ricotoni, we have spinach, bell peppers, onions, um, mushrooms, that's jalapeno, parsley, garlic, canned tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, a jar of pasta sauce, some ricotoni pasta, an assortment of cheeses. For seasonings, we have red pepper flakes, oh, there's some butter, um, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, paprika, Italian seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and start to boil my pasta and I'm gonna go ahead and dice up all of my vegetables. Now y'all, you can use whatever vegetables that you want. I just use whatever I had on hand. Um, y'all, I don't use recipes. I get inspired by recipes, but I don't use recipes. I don't measure. I've been cooking since I was 13, okay? I'm 39, doing the math. So I have started to jot down my recipes, but I don't even cook the same thing. I don't cook it the same recipe twice, the same way, if that makes sense. Sorry, just flubbering with my words. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute my veggies um, in about two tablespoons of butter. And this is very quick, you guys. If you wanted to add meat, you can do so. My husband doesn't eat mushrooms, so I'm sauteing these on the side, and I'll just put these on one side of the, I'm actually doing everything in this pan besides boiling the pasta, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and bake it in this cast iron skillet too. Now I'm just adding everything into this big pot um, with a little bit more butter there. <laughs> About one tablespoon you guys, guys of butter. Um, also tomatoes can be a little acidic so to cut that acid I added half a teaspoon of sugar. There's my fresh parsley and that's it. Okay I'm gonna pop this in the oven until the cheese melts. Now I only added cheese on my side. I know my side seems a little bit bigger. I didn't add a lot of cheese on this side because my husband doesn't do a lot of cheese so it's gonna go down the middle and just he'll just have a little bit of cheese and the mushrooms are underneath here on this side until the cheese melts again and I will probably pop it under the broiler um for about five minutes to get a little crisp to it so all right you guys 30 minutes or less and we're done